Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob with the chaff root reach second C. Why Gamer Gnome? Because if you watch the first trailer of update 17.3, there will be a revamp. So guys, before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Slam the actor! Slam! Oh, they're dancing forward! That's your slam! That's the dump! Okay, so before we start, some info regarding chop fruit. If you want to buy it in the stock, it costs 30,000 bellies or if you want perma 100 robux. There is a 35% chance of this fruit being in the stock or 15% chance of spawning in game. Okay, so to start it off, we're gonna start defeating the bandits with our first skill, the punch. Okay, so this skill can damage multiple targets as long as you lure properly. You need to hit the bandits four times to defeat them. Our goal level here is level 10. For our next island, the Fountain City, we're gonna start defeating the Galley Pirates. You're going to use your left clicks from your combat and your Z skill from your Chop Fruit Punch. You can dodge the Galley Pirates long range attack just by going sideways. Okay, so with just one kill, you will unlock your second skill, the Dance. So this is the best skill of this fruit. <laughs> Guys, don't judge it. The damage will be stronger later. I'm gonna show it to you. So next up at level 55, here are the stats. Melee 30, defense 20, blast force 115. Next island, the pirate village. Guys, I suggest you stay there until level 60. But I just wanna show you this one. The boss, Bobby, because he's also a chop fruit user. And we're gonna use our final skill, the party. Yes, guys, we've unlocked all the chop fruit skills at level 55. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you the real power of the chop fruit later okay so for the stats melee 30 defense 30 block force 168 next island is the desert guys did you know that the chop fruit is immune to sword users but take note that there is a level requirement as you can see there you go they cannot hit you so grinding will be really fast just make sure to look out for bounty hunters no no Anyway guys, my number one tip here is just be patient and keep on grinding. Okay, so at level 90, we are moving towards our next island, the Frozen Village. And our target, the Snow Bandits. Again guys, they are using sword. Well, there you go, no problem. Just like elemental fruits, free kill. Okay, so I suggest you stay here. Or at level 105, you can start defeating the Yeti. It's, it's kind of hard to be honest. So I suggest you stay with the Snow Bandits. Gamer Gnome, what did you do? As I fought the Yeti. <laughs> we're gonna leave this area early. Usually, I grind here until 130, but we're gonna grind here until 120 and move on to the Marine Fortress. Before grinding, don't forget to buy the Black Cave located here in this tower for only 50,000. This increases your HP, some of your energy, and your damage. Okay, so for our target, the Chief Petty Officers, as you can see, they're using his sword again, which will make the grinding easy. Level 130, yes, we can start defeating the boss here. The Vice Admiral, yes, I have a technique. So lure him here outside on the left side of the Marine Fortress and jump here. Guys, avoid using your Z skill because he will use his long range. So we're gonna rely on our X and C skill, okay? As long as you don't push him away, he won't attack. So we're gonna grind here until you reach level 212, yes. We're gonna server hop. Here are the stats, 100 melee defense, blast fruits 436. Next area is the prison. So here, we're gonna start defeating the dangerous prisoners because again, they're using sword. But there you go, lure four at a time, do this twice to finish a quest. You're gonna start defeating the warden, the mini boss in this island at 220. If you're watching my videos, I always do the wall strat here, but the problem with that is that you cannot use your C skill. If you use the party, you will pull the warden towards you, will then give him a chance to attack you. So gamer no, is there another way? Yes. You can look for a high ground. I'm gonna show it to you here, guys. And you can use all your skills, okay? This strategy will also work with the Chief Warden. So again, 230, there will be no problems defeating them. For the Swan, I suggest you do the wall strat. But every after your skill, create distance to avoid his string. There you go. And that's it. Your target level here is 305. Okay, guys, 305 different from my previous videos. Stat check, 150 mil defense, blocks fruit 615. Next island is the Magma Village. This is pretty rare, guys. We're gonna defeat the military soldiers. Yes, 
You need to defeat seven, right? They have hockey, but again, they're using sword, which means we are invulnerable to damage. So there you go. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 350. And now we're gonna defeat the Magma Admiral. So this is kinda hard, but now our damage is stronger with the X skill and C skill. So we're gonna grind here until 381. Believe me, that's the hardest boss, okay? So next island is the underwater city, and we're gonna defeat the Fishman Warriors. And there you see, again, guys, I've said it lots of times, sword. So again, easy grinding. We're gonna skip the Fishman Commandos and grind here until you reach level 425. Okay, so once you reach that level, we're gonna start defeating the boss, the Fishman Lord. So he's located here. There you go. So you're just gonna lure him and go out really fast. Look for a window of your choice and defeat him. You can use your left clicks and all your skills, okay? Z, X, and C skill. Don't worry about the party. It will not go through the wall. So there you go, guys. We are going to do server hop until you reach level 458. Checking our stats, melee and defense the same, 210, blast foots 954. Next island is the Skylands. And before we head to the upper yard, we're gonna defeat one mob first, and that mob is the God's Guards. So guys, again, they're using swords, so we're gonna take advantage of that. We are going to level up 48 times, am I correct with that? Yes, I think. <laughs> So the goal here is 500, now upper yard, so target is the Whisper. So this is how you defeat him, okay? Let's attack him, lure him here in the rock. Guys, he cannot damage you here. Why? Because he will hit the rock instead of you. See that? So again, use your skills, go back, wait for him to attack, and after that, attack him. The goal here is 637. Guys, don't worry, you will still level up once every time you defeat the Whisper until you reach this level, okay? So don't worry about that. Here are our stats before the final island. 310, melee defense, block fruits 1291. Final island is the Fountain City. So here are our target, the Gali Pirates. So there you go. You can lure four at a time. And you only need to use Axis skill twice and one punch to defeat them. Guys, let me repeat. Chop fruit, only three skills to defeat the Gali Pirates. So we're gonna grind here until level 700. Wait, gamer no. There's another mob. Yes, the Gali Captains. And they also use swords, right? Yes, they also use swords. You're immune to them. But, guys, check this out. Taproot has no flight, which means you need to go far away just to get a quest. Go to their location, lure 4, defeat uh, 9. Guys, that will take a long time to do, right? Compared to the Gali Pirates, you can lure 4 every set. So even though Gali, Pir Gali Captains give out more experience, I think the more efficient and faster way is to focus on the Gali Pirates, okay? So at level 700, finally, you will have a quest, the prison quest. Here are your level 700 stats, melee defense 325, block fruits 1450. So now guys, head to the prison, get the key. After that, go to the frozen village, open the door using the key in the cave, defeat Ice Admiral, and after that, go back to the prison. After that, head to the middle town, look for the experienced captain, and he will then send you to the second sea. So there you go, guys. I'm going to showcase the revamp or the awakened chop fruit in the update, so make sure to watch out for that. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!